This video will walk you through the new features added to the Constructor 13. The first thing you'll notice is our redesigned interface. All the fonts are now larger and easier to read. The icons also have been increased in size for better visibility. Um, and when you uh, click through the different uh, menu options in the program, you'll also see some rearrangement there as well. And one such menu, if we go to File and then Print, uh, you'll see the difference here uh, from the previous versions of the constructor. Uh, we also included a new feature for uh, printing uh, pen width. You can now choose fine, normal, or heavy uh, for the output of uh, your printing. Our color palette that is available when changing colors for various things uh, has now been updated to true color. So as we go to an area that will allow us to have access to the palette, you'll notice all the different color options available to us now. One of the main new features uh, added to the constructor is the full zooming capability. And this uh, allows you to zoom in and out at large zoom levels. Uh, so we have a series of zooming controls here. So as you just click to zoom in, you'll notice we can uh, zoom in uh, quite far now, um, as well as zoom out, and you can do the different extents, the widths of the diagram. Uh, we also have a shortcut key that we have included, where if you hold in your control button and just drag to an area, it'll zoom right into that area. And this feature is perfect for uh, getting in close when working on your diagrams, as well as uh, getting in closer to uh, making some detailed uh, drawing objects as well. This zooming function is available um, when you're in simulation or design mode. So here I've just uh, zoomed out. I'll turn this on and for simulation. And I'll just hold control and just zoom to this circuit here. And then you can utilize that in simulation mode. Another zooming feature we have available to us uh, over here in the split screen area under the ladder diagram, uh, you'll notice we have a, a duplicate of our left screen. Um, this button that's highlighted in green uh, is set to synchronize the left window uh, with the mouse clicks from this window. Um, so if we were to uncheck that, now nothing is synced. We can also sync um, with the opposite, the right window with the mouse clicks. Uh, but we'll go ahead and choose this one. And what we can do is zoom out. And so we can see a larger view of our full diagram. And let's say on this one we want to zoom in quite a ways, um, just to have a more detailed view. What we can do is if I hold my left mouse button down while I move around the diagram, it'll uh, move the left side along with it too. So this is just uh, another option for you for being able to have full view of your diagram and be able to go over and quickly make some uh, changes. A new feature over here on the split screen section is under the set tabs. We can go ahead and add uh, additional tabs. So uh, we can choose to either show or hide the workbook tab, or if we have several tabs on there and we don't want them all on there, we can go ahead and eliminate some of those by just using this menu here. And you'll notice now we also have a property tab. And what that tab does is allow you to make adjustments. Uh, we were used to have a, a drawing tools window that would pop up. Uh, now we just have it set up over here as a tab. So as we're drawing and doing different things like that, we have access to the properties under this tab now. So we can just make different changes. Um, get a color palette. And same thing with our text. Let's say we were to draw a text here. and just click on that, we can make different adjustments there as well. We'll now show you some of the changes that have been made to the symbol library. Uh, first, up in the corner, uh, we have a lot larger uh, symbol display area that's showing you our currently selected symbol that used to be taken uh, place with a magnet pointer. If we click on that, uh, we now have our symbol library, and we can also zoom in and out in our symbol library as well. Uh, so you can use these zoom controls or simply just hold your control button while using your mouse scroll wheel. And so you can zoom in and out. And by zooming in, we can just get a real nice display for our symbols now. Up top, you'll notice these different tabs in the symbol library now. And these are just broken down into uh, categories and different symbols are placed in those different categories. And you can also add uh, some tabs of your own if you want to put some favorites and stuff in there. Also, under the search words, we can search for uh, particular symbols. We just type in switches or maybe coils and they'll just be displayed down below. Um, and these are basically pulling the search out of the All Symbols tab here. 
at any time you can easily select a symbol um, by just left clicking on it and this will give you the ability to uh, delete or copy and paste uh, the symbol if you want. By uh, double clicking a symbol it'll open up the symbol editor and you can edit the different frames of that symbol. So in this case we have the switch, we have the normally open and we have the normally closed frame. And if you click on uh, the object here you'll notice uh, these boxes next to these terminal points. Uh, if we click on that, what that's going to do is when checked, uh, the, select, the selected object will use the power flow color uh, found on this connection point. So in this case, we have an open state. Uh, if we click on the right side, that's going to choose to be highlighted by the power flow coming down the right. And this one will be on the left, and you'll also notice this line as well. Now if we close it to the next state on the frame, we have um, on these objects all connected together and you'll notice that they're both selected so the power flow is going to uh, go right through that um, symbol object there. And under file we can create a new symbol from scratch and if we click a uh, new symbol it'll bring us to this switch class menu and we can choose what type of class of symbol. So we have switches, horns, buzzers, indicator lights, uh, coils. If we click on an indicator light we just hit OK it'll bring us to a blank uh, symbol editor screen where we can begin drawing. I um, mean, uh, this one also has uh, two frames. You want to make sure if it has an energized frame uh, that you do both frames there. So we'll have uh, the non energized and then the energized frame. And for this next feature, we're going to go under set tabs and we're going to activate the simulation script and it'll uh, put a tab up here for us. If we click on that, um, we're going to open this up so we can see all our icons here. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom out of our diagram here just a little bit so we can see everything. And this function allows us to record uh, and play back actions uh, in a sequence so that we can uh, use it for instruction or just uh, pointing out different things in a presentation maybe. Uh, so if we go over here and run our simulation, we now have access to this record option. So if I hit record, now everything that I do, it's going to record those uh, functions over here on the right. So as you see that we just uh, clicked a switch and now it appears over here in the script. And we click another switch over here. And once that is done, we hit stop. We can play back that sequence of scripts and you'll see it's going to run through the delays before it goes on to the ne next section here. And it's just kind of highlighting and showing uh, the activation of uh, the different steps that we took. And we can just hit stop. And then we can continue to edit this. Uh, if we go ahead and turn off our simulation, now we have access to drawing boxes. Um, we can do different delay functions. If I click on uh, one of these here, so 7.7 seconds, I can go over to this uh, edit the selected script option and I can choose to uh, select, the, select the different uh, delays, uh, the activation for toggle or deactivate. So just to show you, let's go ahead and change uh, the seconds. Let's just drop that down to uh, two seconds. And then let's go ahead and add, uh, let's say, a circle that appears here. So now that our changes have been made, we'll go ahead and run it. And then we'll go ahead and hit play. And you'll just see it run right on uh, down through the script changes that we've made. So there's that circle that we just added. And any time you want to uh, change any of these scripts, you can move them up or down in the um, sequence here using these tools. Uh, you can also just hit the delete button if you want to uh, delete one of the lines. You can also add uh, buttons in here. So if we insert a user reaction prompt, uh, we can go ahead and choose whether it be an OK button uh, or a spacebar uh, type as far as prompting goes. And we can just set the description here and then uh, in the script, uh, what it'll do is a button will be displayed as we're running through the, the scripts. 
So if there was a button placed right here, as we're running through the scripts, a button would pop up and we'd have to uh, either select a spacebar or click the OK button to continue on. And this concludes our tutorial on the Constructor 13 new features. Uh, feel free to check out our other videos that we have available online.